Bora TV. The world is thinking. Now, I'm a behavioral psychologist, so these quizzes are all well and good, but what does it have to do with behavior, right? When it comes to it, what does overconfidence do? What, does, what behavior does it bring about? And um, Plows, who actually used one of these quizzes, for, started using these quizzes for confidence intervals, says it's one of the most pervasive and potentially catastrophic of all cognitive biases. And it has been blamed for lawsuits. So when people go to court, if they think they're right, they're more likely to continue to argue and spend more money and spend more time because they're right. They're, you know, they will not be swayed. Same thing goes for strikes. So if the union thinks it's right, if it's overconfident that it's right, and the other side thinks it's right, they will continue these, um, these fights. Um, if, if somebody thinks is overconfident about their, their uh, defense, wage more wars, um, and stuff, and a, a lot, most of this work of overconfidence has been done in finance. So like I said, being overconfident about the money that you put in and whether or not it will increase or decrease or whether stock, whether you should take it out or whether you should um, leave it in. And people are overconfident that their decisions will eventually make them money, even though right now they're not. Um, so people become overconfident about that. And so, in my field, like I said, I come across a lot of parents who believe that vaccines cause their children's autism. And there is nothing I can say to change their minds. I can give them data, I can show them journal articles, I can, you know, throw everything at them. But now, they have so much information at their hands with Google that they can find all these people that agree with them. Oh no, I'm not, you know, there's all these people that believe that this is the case. And there are even experts. So now there's doctors saying that vaccines did cause their autism. Wakefield is, you know, a martyr right now. You know, he's, he's being put down by big pharma by everybody else because he knows that we are all in a conspiracy to give all our kids autism. And nothing I can say changes their minds. And so I thought this quote here, overconfident processors, they sincerely believe they have expertise. Um, they act as experts, they look like experts. And so it's up to us to remember that they might be in the grip of a delusion.